How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video, brand new vlog. I am just picking up the camera with no real kind of reason, purpose to this vlog. So yeah, I kind of have the house to myself today because Tom is just about to set off for cricket. I want to kind of get on top of the house. I've got a bit of cleaning to do. I've got my family coming over tomorrow. I also need to get some food bits in. So I'm gonna go to, um, well there's a big like M&S and big Tesco's. They're like joined together near us. It's the Hand 14 one if you're local to Wilmslow. Um, so I'm gonna head there I think and get some foodie bits, get some drinks. I need some food for today as well. So yeah, today's very much just a sorting through, getting a bit of housey bits done. I'm gonna bake. Now that we've got the kitchen, it's just been such a luxury to be able to cook and bake. And I actually baked a lemon cake. It's my Nana's recipe. She was amazing at baking lemon ice and what we like to call munch, which is like a chocolate thing. I'm gonna make that as well, actually, because like I said, it's my family coming over tomorrow and they know and love Nana's munch. So I'm gonna bake that. I've just popped into my filming room. Before I get any further within today's vlog, I remembered that I had a delivery from a brand called Timu who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. So I picked up some bits, a couple of summery dresses, which is literally all I've been living in, in this heat. And also, um, yeah, some householdy bits. This was the first thing that I saw on their website and decided to get. So it's essentially, a food bowl, pet food bowl, but on legs. So I just feel like with Barney being a bit of a taller dog, I just feel like he would benefit from having this. But it's quite good because it's tiered, so you can actually lower the level if you wanted to take it out of this top level and pop it on this, well, either of the two bottom tiers. I'm trying to find one of these for the longest time in like a really nice kind of dark mango wood to go with all the stuff in the kitchen. I will leave a link to Timu in the description box. I will also leave a discount code, which they have very kindly given me to offer to you guys. So be sure to make sure to take advantage of that. Speaking of the dog and the heat, I also picked up this cooling mat for him. He has one already, um, which he has pretty much outside but I thought this would be quite a nice one to have indoors it's a bit more luxury than the other one it feels a lot nicer and they had different colors I went for a gray so again nice and neutral the other one that I've got outside is like bright cobalt blue so this will be handy just to have and it's huge as well to have inside oh in fact this was a TikTok made me buy it type of purchase because I saw this for people entertaining their dogs. I think it's a child's toy, but apparently dogs love this. It's literally just a little crab that, that goes side to side and like the dogs go mental for it and chase them. And then what else did I get? I saw this, which I thought would be really handy for on like the island or little work surfaces as and where, super portable, really easy to just grab and go. A little worktop dustpan and brush in a gorgeous beige color again on theme for me. I also got this. Now this was something that I'd seen, I think it was TikTok again, I'd seen this and thought I would pick it up. It just makes so much sense. So it's essentially a little clipped uh, colander that you clip onto the side of your pan so that when you're draining any kind of like pasta water or anything into the sink, it's easier to kind of do it like this without the need for a colander in one hand pan in the other as i mentioned earlier about acacia wood and mango wood that kind of thing they've got loads of stuff on their website and i thought this 
little tray would be really cute either within a bathroom, within the kitchen. Could be quite nice for like a salt and pepper meal to stand on here in the kitchen. So I picked up that. I thought actually I've got a couple of those for within my pantry. So when I'm doing some kind of pantry organizational type video, I feel like I'll have a couple of these that will come in very handy. I also picked up these, which I thought would be super cute for kind of um, the stationery drawer. Loads of highlighters, but in really kind of muted beige, mint green, lilacs, corals, um, cream. Yeah, gorgeous colors. Cornflower blue, much nicer than like your stark bright neon highlighters it's again another online purchase tiktok made me buy it i feel like they have so many things on team you that i just feel like tiktok makes the products go viral and i couldn't help resist but getting this for in my car so it's one of these let's show you a little pouch at the back that you can see it's like a clear gel jelly gooey sticky thing that ordinarily i'd think ew but apparently it makes it really easy to clean out things like keyboards, dashboards, um, all sorts of things within the car just to wipe it down to collect all the dirt and dust. You don't need to rub it, you literally just press it and it grabs all the dust. Amazing. We also needed one of these potato vegetable ricers for the kitchen. We did have one, but it went all rusty and gross. So um, I decided to pick up another one. We like to use this for oh, making mashed potato get it out of the box there we go that's what it looks like just a potato ricer masher whatever you want to call it i've got a few kitchen purchases actually especially having the new kitchen done now it's very much shopping for the kitchen i've got this kind of like chopper garlic chopper onion chopper uh, ginger chopper for my ginger and lemon tonic it's rechargeable by usb this one so really handy and yeah thought i would pick up that as a kitchen essential. Yet again, another kitchen essential that I also picked up, probably for the pantry or the fridge, but I'm thinking maybe the pantry. So put within a cupboard and it's a like a Lazy Susan rotating shelf acrylic organizer. So these are really good, especially for things like saucers and things that you can like not have to take out loads of stuff to get to it and you can just simply spin it around or spices that kind of thing so anyway super handy these are also nice in a kind of vanity space with makeup bits in so they are all the home finds that i got on timu now for some fashion staples i got this dress which is just a good classic basic um kind of like cat sleeve dress that goes down to like a midi length it has pockets as well. I love the added touch of having a pocket on a dress. I think they had this in several different colors, but I just thought white would be the most practical for summer. And then I also picked up this just as a little basic. It's kind of like a vest dress. And again, they had loads of colors. I went for khaki. I really like khaki green. And yeah, it's got a little kind of wrap detail that you can tie around the waist and then i got a couple of like kind of crochet style dresses more so for holiday not that i've got a holiday book but we're looking and um i thought these would be good like over a bikini so i picked up this one first and foremost which has like a racer back design and it goes to like a midi length and then i got a creamier one as well which has a slightly different neckline if i show you it's got like a higher neckline so again just very simple crochet dress same kind of length this one does have a big slit up both sides so yeah very much beach dresses those two but love that kind of look of like a crochet dress over a bikini and then i got a couple of blue dresses i, I, I couldn't decide so i ended up picking up all three um so i got this one which is like a kind of milkmaid style you could wear it off the shoulder it just ties up there in the middle it does have a zipper down the back so it's quite nicely fitted this one i picked it up what size did i get i got this one in a medium and then this one is more of like a brighter cobalt blue this this patterned um dress but it's very similar in terms of the shape of it, the design of it with the kind of cinched in top part, the kind of slight puffy sleeve that you could again wear on shoulder, off shoulder. It's a bit like this dress. I could always wear that off shoulder if I wanted to 
catch a bit of sun up here. I also picked that one up in a medium. This one is, well, it probably would have been my favorite, but it's slightly too big for me. So although I will still wear it, I feel like I could do with sizing down. So it's essentially like a puff sleeve shirt, a bit like this one is, but in this beautiful baby blue pattern, like this floral detailing, honestly, it's gorgeous. I know I like my neutrals and my simple stuff, but I have like a different style in spring, summer where I'm more adventurous when it comes to print and pattern and dresses like this, cute, girly, kitsch style dresses, I just think are so adorable. And then in the summer, for me, throwing on a dress, I just feel so like put together, yet so comfortable. And it's literally just one item. Like it's almost, I actually think easier to dress in summer if you are a fan of dresses like these. So yeah, you can just have a whole collection, like I've now got a whole collection of blue ones and you're good to go. So this one is a long maxi style as well. But anyway, that is everything that I got from Team Thank you so much to them for very kindly sponsoring today's video and working with me on this little section to share with you some of my favorite finds. Let me know if you do pick up anything yourself. Don't forget to check out the links via the description box and make sure to take advantage of that discount code. So yeah, thank you to them. Without further ado, let's get back into the vlog. We had a lovely morning this morning. It was honestly such a relief to go out and it feel quite cool this morning on our dog walk. It was lovely, got some fresh pastries just from the co-op. Um, yeah, our local co-op does really good pastries. It's not like as good as our uh, bakery that we go to, but it was a bit early, so we thought we'll just via co-op but anyway yeah i need to go get a food shop done i've just thrown my hair up today it's got a few little curls in it left over from look how short it is i mean my hair's still long for a lot of people but last time i went to the hairdresser i had a good healthy chop off and this is it in a ponytail now that for me is really short it used to be like quite down here quite down here further down here but i just I was like, you know what, it's summer, hack it all off. And this is quite a high pony, so. But yeah, I can't get over it. I, I actually really like it. I think my hair looks healthier. It's easier to manage when it's a little bit shorter. So chop it all off and I, chop it all off. It's still, it's still long. But anyway, yeah, I'm loving the the uh, slightly shorter length. I've just done like a minimal makeup. I did actually film it for TikTok, did a little TikTok get ready with me and get to know me at the same time. There's some facts thrown in there. So if you wanna see that, my TikTok, I think it's just Freya Farrington if you search on TikTok. But anyway, I feel like it's time to get stuff done. I need to firstly head out to the shop because otherwise it's gonna get close to lunchtime and I'm gonna be starving. I bathed Barney this morning. So he is a bit of a wet pooch, although he dries really quickly, especially in this heat. So he can stay here whilst I nip to the shops. I won't be long. Oh, he's asleep at the bottom of the stairs. It's dusty down there, Barney. You don't want to lie there. Just before Tom goes, he's been um, playing around with his new tent purchase that he's got because essentially he's going to Glastonbury which I guess by the time you're watching this video he'll be at Glastonbury. I decided to give it a miss. Festivals, I'm not gonna lie, they're not for me. I just, it's Panic Central, big crowds, music I'm not that into. I, I do like music and I ha like having it on in the background but there's loads of people there that'll be performing that I'm like, never heard of them, never heard of them. So anyway, gave that one a miss. He's going with some friends and yeah, I didn't realize it was like Wednesday to Monday. It's a big thing. I thought it was gonna be just a weekend. But anyway, he's been prepping and practicing with his new tent, because we want to get a little camping trip books maybe. If it comes back clean, that's the big question. Will it come back clean? Will it even come back at this rate? Who knows? What's that, Barney? <laughs> what is it? For our little camping adventures one day. Oh, you're gonna enjoy it, yeah. Tom's getting Glastonbury ready. <laughs> Doing a little trial run. Oh, is it no shoes in the tent? <laughs> oh God, he's gone. He's gone. Where's daddy? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Careful of that wire. Where's daddy? Oh my 
<laughs> what is it? Come on. I think he'll like camping. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> when he goes zoom, he's just it's the funniest thing. Come on, let's get inside. Come on. Whoa, I like it fresh because I know there's going to be no spiders in here. Plenty of room for me, Mum and Dad. So this is the bedroom. How is this a four-man tent? Oh, it's nowhere near a four-man. Unless two people are meant to sleep out this section, so it's like two separate bedrooms. Maybe. But yeah, with all your gear and everything, I think I think this is the perfect size for us. Should we get some camping trips? I think it's not going to come back. That's my prediction. Oh, I thought before I head out, here's Barney. Lots of you always say, put Barney in the vlogs more. So here he is. Before we head out, I thought we could um, give you a little update on how the kitchen, how the styling's been going. It's very much a work in progress. I've got lots to do and I've just kind of been playing around with a few bits. And yeah, I'll probably vlog when I actually style up and everything. But for now, this is what it's looking like. So if I stand back here, you get a kind of better view, but I've actually added the olive tree. So I brought this olive tree up from the basement. We had it in the cinema room, if you remember. So it's from Home Bargains. It's 99 pounds, I believe, 99.99. And inside the, well, how I've kind of like potted it is basically in the little basket, which also came from Home Bargains. I think that was 7.99. And then that is like a linen tablecloth that I've just kind of put a, on top of it so i think that one was from wilco's we obviously have our sofa this is the bloomsbury from sofa club and i've just popped our dusk cushions these like boucle ones are so comfy and cozy and then these linen olive colored ones are from mns utilities still a mess and got loads of building stuff in so we'll leave that for now but on the actual island i've just popped this tray which i got from dunelm along with my little salt and pepper pinch pots from the white company I actually need to put some salt and pepper in them and start using them and then i've got this tranquil number no. seven bergamot and aroli four wick candle which is from asda i like the fact that it's in like a green glass which kind of matches the green of the island this is in the paint color little green uh, sorry little green paints but the color is invisible green and then this kitchen is from diy kitchens it's the helmsley range the rest of it is in their standard white color and then the worktops are from gemini they are the silver calicata silver superior worktops they kind of look a little different next to each other but i think it's just the lighting over there and also the fact that um the cabinets over here are white whereas the cabinets here are dark I popped out my eat the season spring summer kitchen towel i've already worn tom this is just for display um our oven gloves our actual tea towel that we use i love these ones they're like a rustic linen they're from um m s actually i'm gonna every time i go in i see if they've got any and i can never see any so i don't know if they've discontinued them or not but we've only got two of these and i just use them all the time a couple of little pots with some very sad looking herbs in uh, but yeah basil seems to be thriving then up top we've got this shelf which has some antique butter paddles a little garlic thing this is a little garlic pot or salt pot however you want to use it utensils pot is from matlan a la cruze salt and pepper mills on a little stand which is from dunelm and then these chopping boards are also done elm these are so cute they're from anna and nina i got them at selfridges this one's mine that one's tom's i bought them for us and then this is a tk max find i love the look of that i feel like i have burnt through it some of it but once it's fully burnt out i still think i'll just use it to pop there because i think it looks really nice i like the kind of green touch as well and then just a cooking book here called gather with this from done elm this jug i've also got just down here the um wooden zara home kitchen roll holder and a little wine cooler from dalesford farm and then on the sink we just got this um little kind of sink caddy ceramic soap dish whatever you want to call it it's from 
B&M, it's the dupe for the White Company one. Literally identical, guys. No point wasting money on the White Company one. This one's only four pounds, and you get it in the bathroom section. And then on here, I've just got this Delsford Farm Rosemary Washing Up Liquid. Smells amazing, this. And then this is my favorite scent that the White Company do, especially for all year round. So it's called Sea Salt. It's Sea Salt Vetiver and Cedarwood. It reminds me of the Abercrombie & Fitch cologne that they do, the Fierce cologne. Smells amazing. And then I got these, I got a few of these actually. They're from Primark Home. I can't remember where I got this, like a rustic kind of bottle brush that I just have placed there. I actually use this one though for cleaning up and I just kind of hide it there with my Lakeland Deluxe Moisturizing white washing up gloves love them and then for now i've just popped the ladder that i bought from home sense just in here i think what i might do is style this up by the bookcase area with maybe like a throw or something in the black room in the front room so for now it's just propped up there but that's not its forever home and yeah that's how it's looking this side i always get questions on where barney's bed is from it was from home sense got a couple of bits on the shelves again very much just still need shifting around like i don't want to keep this lamp here but for now for evenings it's been quite handy zara home that one ikea inspirations wholesalers home bargains i think that's home bar no that one's b&m b&m frame here i need to get some pictures for these a little joe malone candle here this one is in rose blush it's not my favorite scent but i got it as a pr thing um and so i've just kind of been burning through it actually nicer than i expected so because rose blush i would never usually go for a scent like that but it has been really nice and light for the summer and then this little zara home lamp with a couple of coffee table books this as well is from home bargains and this is from inspirations wholesalers so that is how that is looking little house update we do usually have the doors open but it's just started spitting a little bit even though it's still warm but honestly i'm kind of welcoming the rain at this point when it gets so hot for so long as well it's quite nice just to have that break isn't it that kind of relief of rain so it's looking like it's stopped but i'll pop out now and then when i get back if it's still dry i'll open up the doors again but yeah we had them open this morning but i'm just closing too um but yeah let's go let's go shopping for lunch tomorrow so this is very much like just lunch options so we've got some celery sticks carrot buttons and cucumber to go with some hummus we've got us some shrieky bacon for me and tom for the morning for bacon sandwiches and then i got some pita chips love pita chips but also some crisp options as well. We've got mature cheddar and spring onion and sticky glazed pork. Got some gypsy fila, which I'm gonna pop out in a vase, probably on the island. And then I've got some cheese twists. These last for ages, so even if we don't open those, then yeah, they're good to just have in for hosting. Some leodama, some, a lot of these things were like on offer, you know, like when it's like three for, a five or whatever courgette and halloumi triangles some olives love these olives so much some cherry peppers with goat's cheese the hummus for the salad bits and also i've got a couple of other options sour cream and chive and satsiki dinky honey and mustard sausages and dinky melton mowbray pork pie I've got this for my dinner tonight because it was on offer in the reduced section because it goes out of date tonight um, but yeah, I'll just have that tonight. Chicken filled Yorkshire pudding, some salami selection, and some caster sugar for some baking this afternoon. So let's get the flowers in the vase, and let's, I think I'm gonna start baking. Was it all just a dream, just all in my Vase 
is the dilemma of the day. Although there is a vase down here which has some like old gypsy feeler in it. So maybe I'll just replace that. I do quite like it when it dries out though. So maybe I'll keep it, put it in a different vase, but use this vase for up on the island because I feel like it'll look nice on there. I think there's some vases. Oh, didn't realize they were there. I'm gonna take them upstairs. There's some vases that I've got back here that I could use. Hmm, I feel like I prefer the ribbed one. It's from H&M, that one, by the way. Or there is, I think there's a couple in here. Oh, we've got this one from the Mrs. Hinch Tesco's range. I think that's gonna be too small. Um, again, this one, but the neck of it is too small. This one's from Inspirations Wholesalers, but look at the texture on that. It is so gorgeous. I love how rustic that is. Do I try and do that one maybe? Maybe do a bit both. I'll take that one up and see, see how it looks up there. Go. I've decided to keep it quite wild and wide looking, quite big, just because I feel like this space can take a really wild, sorry, wild, wide uh, arrangement because of the sort of like width of the island and there's not much on it. So this is what I've come up with. Got my little candle there, obviously I'll just be careful and make sure to move it when the candle's burning. But yeah. What do we think? I just think it's so affordable, but so full looking. Even just to add to other flowers, I just love using Gypsophila. So yeah, that is my little arrangement for the day, for the week. These usually last for maybe like five to six days. And then uh, I'll just take out the water, rinse out the vase, and then just have it in there dry, like the other ones downstairs, which I have popped in that other vase and I've left it downstairs in the basement just because I feel like one on here is enough. So just for convenience, I've written out the recipes on these recipe cards that I got from a brand called Melpom. I got these so long ago now, and I've been kind of keeping them to one side ready for our kitchen to be done. So now that it is done, I do need some kind of a little box or something that I can stack these in. I did have one, I bought one from a charity shop, and it was too small for these. So what I did was I quite liked the fact that the charity shop one that I found the, the box itself I didn't like, but there were recipe cards inside it that had recipes written on. So I've kept those ones, the ones that had recipes written on, to be able to copy them over. This was one of them that I found in the charity shop. So I actually wrote on there where from, charity shop. 
So it's a white chocolate and ricotta cheesecake. I love the idea of like testing out someone else's recipe maybe. The only thing is, there's no directions on how to do it. It's literally just ingredients. So it's a bit of a guessing game with that. But yes, I've kept those recipes. So I'll, when I find time, we'll jot those down on the rest of those cards. And then these are the two recipe cards that I have written for my munch and lemon ice cake. So I'll show you the munch first. I am actually gonna do the lemon ice cake first though, just cause it can cool in the fridge. So yes, this is what the munch recipe is. There's all your ingredients, allergens, and the directions on the back. And then as for the lemon ice, this is the ingredients and allergens and times and everything like that. And then the recipe and instructions on the back. And this is where not having kids is a benefit. You get to lick the bowl all by yourself. Mm. So the lemon cake is now in. I'm just gonna prep the icing, which essentially is squeezed lemon juice with icing sugar, I don't really measure this out. I just kind of go off what I think from one lemon juice. Sometimes if I feel like there's not enough, I'll add in the extra juice of another lemon. Uh, but yeah, I, I like it quite thick. I know you can do like a more of a lemon drizzle, but I'm going for more of like an icing that kind of stays on the top of the cake. So yeah, I do add quite a lot of icing sugar until it kind of forms a bit of a paste. And then I just set that to one side, ready for when the cake comes out, I'll leave the cake to cool for a bit and then pop the icing sugar on top. So I'm gonna do that. And then I've also got out the ingredients ready for, um, well, some of them, I need to get the porridge oats as well, but the ingredients for the chocolate munch. It's kind of like a flat jacky consistency. There's desiccated coconut, porridge oats, sugar, hot chocolate, powder, so yeah. Whilst getting the ingredients in the shop for munch, I decided to go for the kind of like bagged ones that I can decant into some of my jars. So, porridge oats for instance, I've got this jar here, which I'm gonna decant it into, and then I've got two smaller ones, which I think I'm gonna pop the coconut in. I could actually do the sugar in one as well. Um, and then the hot chocolate powder. So the labels that I've got for now, I picked up these in HomeSense. They're in the yellow clearance section, so only £1.30. They are Ray Dunn ones, so I do quite like the font of Ray Dunn. It's not my favorite. I do like the B&M ones that I've got, but I've got limited selection, whereas this comes with literally all of these labels. There's loads in there. There's a whole kitchen section, bathroom and laundry, garage, and generic. I've got, so let's have a look at these labels and see what we've got. So we've got coconut, I can see there on the front. I think, yeah, in America they call it rolled oats and these are obviously American. So rolled oats, the porridge oats, coconut, and then have we got cocoa powder? Yes, cocoa powder. got some PR. We'll probably open that, hopefully within today's video, we'll see what it is. I think it's, um, I don't know what one of the boxes is, but I think there's some bits from Nest in there. Anyway, back to, where are we? That's jumped up by two grams. Just pop that in there.
Never thought that you could fall for someone like me. Never thought that you could fall for me. Never thought that you could fall for someone like me. Never thought that you could fall for me. For someone like me. For someone. transferred it over to this slightly smaller tin because I think that one was just a little bit too big um, but I'm not sure this will create as many pieces as it'll be like either eight small pieces or I think it'll be more like six large ones so the six of us total so that's one piece each my dad's not gonna be happy with just one piece <laughs> I have to double up. You just kind of press it down, pass it down within the tray. You only bake it for sort of like no longer than 10 minutes at a really low heat, just so that it kind of all goes together. And then you let it cool slightly. Pop on some melted galaxy chocolate or whatever chocolate you choose to do, whether it be uh, Cadbury's Galaxy, vegan chocolate, who knows, white chocolate, chocolate orange, whatever you want, but we tend to just use Galaxy, a minimum of 250 grams. So they, they used to do a bigger one, but now I have to get two, which means I've always got a little bit of this one left over, which I'm not complaining about. Uh, but yeah, melt the chocolate, pour it on top, and then you just kind of do a swirly pattern with your fork, and then let it set in the fridge but it's important not to leave it too long because you don't want the chocolate to go like rock hard it just wants to be like room temperature chocolate so um that you can then cut into it nice and easily so that is what my nana's munch recipe is if any of you make this or my nana's lemon ice oh my gosh if you made this and sent me a photo legit i think i would cry that would be amazing so yeah, if you do happen to make any of these recipes, let me know. Send me a photo, tag me in a picture, because that would just absolutely make my day. Lemon ice is in the fridge. I have just had a tiny slither just to test it. Keeping that nice and chill because I think I've iced it just a little too early just because it is starting to melt. So it's, it's not now, but it started to melt down the sides and I thought I'll leave it in the fridge for now. Um, so yeah, munch is just kind of setting, cooling before I add the baked, baked chocolate, warm chocolate. My battery's about to go, that's why I'm heading upstairs. <laughs> I need to switch out the battery. I did end up doubling up on the recipe and added a little bit extra as well just to fill this tin but now i've got my melted chocolate ready to pour on it's looking very creamy and delicious that's why i like galaxy the best for this because it's so so creamy so baking is all done food and everything i can prep tomorrow there's nothing really to prep, I've just bought easy food. Sorting the outside area, the kind of terrace area, I'm gonna depend on the weather tomorrow because it looks like it might actually get a little bit overcast. So I don't know if we're gonna sit outside or not. As long as it doesn't rain, I'm sure we'll sit outside. But um, yeah, I thought I would just open up these boxes with you and then probably put the camera back up tomorrow. I'm just about ready to have a sit down, to be honest with you. Um, oh, okay, this is, did I know this was coming? Oh yes, okay, from Artie and Co. She has even put there, Ria, thank you Ria for sending me this. 
how the supplier became out of stock um but these should be back in now they are yoga bags so she has a small business and she's also very kindly included a discount code freya15 for 15% off any yoga or gym bag that is so so kind of her especially as i did mention in a recent vlog i would like to do a little bit more yoga so this is really handy perfect little gym bag how cute is that just simply it says yoga stuff and then her branding on the bottom very spacious as well so good to put like towels fair change of clothes in there i love that love the font as well that she's gone for so thank you so so much make sure to check them out if you want to support a small business and use that discount code now i've also got these packages from next i can tell they're next because of the branding but i don't know what these are I'm getting hot I always get hot and bothered, especially if I've been baking or cleaning or whatever. Running around, just gets, I swear it's a workout. Can you class housekeeping as a workout? Oh, this smells lovely. It must be a candle. Oh, so good. This is their pure white scent. It smells literally like pure white. Linen, cotton fresh laundry absolutely delightful top notes of bergamot and saffron heart notes of white tea and mandarin and the base is soft amber and musk burns up to 30 hours let me try and get it out of its box this could be the next one to burn on the island oh i love this it comes with a little candle lid or candle tray however you want to use it sorry guys i don't know where we got to that and my uh camry Camry, camera memory just told me it was all full up anyway this is the pure white candle it has as i said this kind of like lid slash tray depending on how you want to use it that you can just stand it on burn it oh my gosh it's so good it's kind of like i was going to say citrusy it's that bergamot i think that's coming through let's see what's in this bag two more boxes this first one could be something that maybe matches that pure white. Yes, it is. I thought it might be. This is the pure white luxury reed diffuser that they do. I think they do a couple of, hang on a second. The notes are different. So the top notes of this one, bergamot green saffron, that's the same. Heart notes of white tea mandarin so that is the same and lemongrass so it is and then it's soft amber woody musk so it is the same but they've just detailed a few more on there so that lemongrass is that kind of zestiness that i was telling you about that i think comes through we've actually got a reed diffuser in here i could pop it on the mat on one of these shelves so so pretty nice and simple bottle i quite like the black against the white for the reeds that are in there as well and it's got like a kind of white stone top last and final box from next just about to say i wonder where the dog is but he's just come in now hello barney hi guys you're wondering what's going on can you see him this is yet again whoa nearly knocked you over there this is yet again the pure white scent this is an electric diffuser i was gonna say electronic electric diffuser oh it looks lovely how nice is that it's kind of like a ridged or ribbed ceramic i'm assuming let's open it up and see yeah ceramic and it's all white <laughs> pure white um yeah beautiful thank you so so much next i'm definitely gonna get all these bits out to uh start using i love that they'll all be able to uh sort of like work together as well all the scents kind of being the same scent in the same room
it has gone incredibly dark thunder has started mess in the background yes hands up i'm the worst vlogger ever completely forgot to vlog whilst my family was here and let's show you the spread that i put on little uh lunch that we had although i say little lunch it's just it's almost 5 30 they've just left i'm pretty full so i feel like there's a few little picky bits left there's some lemon cake left and also i managed to save I restricted my family's allowance of my nana's munch. I did double up, thank goodness, because that first lot went down a treat. So I still have some more pieces for Tom and I. He's already said he's gonna heat some up tonight when he gets back from cricket. And it's looking like they're gonna be rained off as well. Oh, and then also mum very kindly saw this. TK Maxx picked it up for me. She's like, I bought you a notebook, a Hugo Boss notebook. It's like a leather, but it's the same color as the island. So it might be quite nice to have it in here in the kitchen just for jotting notes as and when I need to write stuff down. And then she's just dropped off this magazine as well. So I might have a flick through that this evening. How nice are those chairs? Love them. What is this magazine? Lux Interiors and Design. Oh, I love them lights as well. Oh yeah, I might have a good little flick through this. I love an interiors magazine flick through. Did I just spot something that I thought I did? Little pooch. Why am I so drawn to dogs? <laughs> I'm just gonna have a pot around, tidy up, maybe put some TV on in the background, catch up the Kardashians, that kind of thing. Just chill for the rest of the evening. Barney's just enjoying some time outside, down there somewhere. We were sat outside on the chairs, but like I said, because the rain has just started, we've just, just pulled them in quickly, all the cushions and throws, so that if it does come down, I do love the thunderstorms, anyone else? something about it that just feels so cozy i love it and it just helps clear that heat clear the air feels nice and refreshing so yeah are you coming back inside now bud um but yeah i think i'm gonna actually close off today's vlog here because i did upload the footage to youtube to youtube to my computer yesterday and i got more than i thought yesterday so i feel like i'm gonna call it a day hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog kind of like staying home vlog hope you've enjoyed it and i definitely want to at some point soon start styling up these shelves it needs a zhuzh it needs some stuff bringing up from downstairs in the storage room some books some knickknacks vases jugs that kind of thing to do spend. yeah bring it inside barney good boy bring it inside come on bring it in here go get your toy go get it get it bring it inside sometimes i just think this dog is so clever and other times i'm like how can you not understand what i'm saying anyway i'm gonna close off today's vlog thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed it thumbs up if you have subscribed for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next vlog bye guys